This video is brought to you by Squarespace, an all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence. Okay, get all the toys out now. Our news partners at News Source 13 update us regularly. We continue to have up-to-the-minute traffic and weather reports, mornings and afternoons, and great country music interspersed in between all of it. Listen, we've never been through a pandemic before either, but there is no one we'd rather go through it with than you. According to the 2010 census... So, life during the time that we are here in social distancing is involved about this when we miss our traveling and adventure we just hop on here and come at the back side of the house and then just feel the nature just remind us a lot of the time that we were together traveling somewhere remote like for example Kazakhstan in the or like Philippines. The Philippines or Bali for example Being out here you hear nothing besides the bird All trees for them Listen They stop for a while. Yeah, and then they answer you. They were like, new kind of bird. <laughs> Woo! Got some Easter breakfast. Is it difficult for Easter to eat pancake? No, most of the time we have, uh, we have like Cinnabons for breakfast, but kind of forgot to buy the Cinnabons yesterday, so I'm doing some bunny rabbit. Yeah. Pancakes for Taz's first Easter in the U.S. That's the cutest thing Jimmy has ever done. <laughs> oh, Bruno, you watching Lord of the Rings? Ooh, what's the eyes? This kind of look like a Pete sign, though, not the rabbit. Well, it's because there's no one. I never said I was an artiste. Yeah, I don't know if this thing's like a stick. I don't know if this thing's like a stick. I don't know if this thing's like a Feeling like biscuit now. Ja. Ja. Mime. 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 Jemima. There you go. Can I? Yeah. So because it's Easter and Ta has yet to experience the Easter traditions, we're gonna have her hunt her Easter basket. I got her one yesterday. Her first time. Oh, that's so cute. I hid Ta's Easter basket somewhere on the property. So she's got 20 acres to hunt down this Easter basket. Let's see if she can find it. Found it. Yeah. Thank you. Feel like Christmas. I mean, he'll he'll give me exact measurements. I got him rough. <laughs> okay. Let's get past that. So we've started a lot of projects while we've been kind of locked up in quarantine. One of the projects is to turn this old milk house. You good? You good? I'm just gonna show Kath what I did here. So what we what we did is my dad had turned it into a dog kennel, and now it went from a dog kennel, and we're gonna turn it into a studio. So we tore it down, and we're gonna rebuild it. We'll use it for our new business. Toilet as a full That's studio to work out of separate from the house. That's kind of answer the question that you guys always ask. If you have a chance to settle down somewhere, where would it be? Hint, right here. The studio going in here. <laughs> Hello. Cassie, it's been two weeks. 
You better come see us. I'm We're not fine. sick. I know. <laughs> well, this is what we did yesterday. Right. Wow, look at that. Yeah, well, that roof's going to come off. Here we go. That'll, that's one of them. Got windows already. Got some of the beams for the roof. And we have wood to basically build it already, so we just have to measure it all out and make sure everything's good and gonna fit. So if we do need to buy things, we need to know what we need to buy first. And hopefully the places like that are gonna be open during this time. I think like building places, most of them are essential, like Home Depot and things like that are essential. So we should be good. This is the main bracket of everyone in the house. Everyone touch this part, of course. I know that it's like the scenario that happened on the world that we all don't want it to happen and it's kind of sad but in the meanwhile you have only two options yeah. to deal with it like you can go super negative about it or you can go positive about it and there is no point of going super negative about it at all so the positive side of it we look at it in this way that we can spend more time with family now I can't with my mom but soon I have to fly back to Thailand to spend time with my mother as well. That way she can see her mom for one. And see, my, see my mom, not your mom. I said see your mom. Oh, see, okay. So she can see her mom for one and so that she can kind of reset her US visa and allow her to come back in October because we have a wedding in November. So we're six feet away. You guys are all playing, huh? <laughs> Made Ta hunt an Easter basket, so she oh, she, had to look for she got the basket. full experience. Cool. I got a bunny. You got a bunny? I got a bunny doll. <laughs> Alright, just wanted to say happy Easter. So when we're not out here in the afternoons, we're inside the house working. Yeah, so this is a good time that we get a chance to look back to our work and then thinking about how to develop it even better. It's a great time for self-development, work development. So there are a couple of things that I try to learn during the time of social distancing. Now I come to love um, 360 footage. It's just something that I try to learn because I got inspired from John Olson's video. I try to use the time of social distancing to tackle these new skills. Backward. Swipe. Swipe. Hey, Ann. Forward, backward. Ann. <laughs> One more thing that we work on is to try to develop the new website. For more commercial style photography and videography. So starting it now allows us to slowly build, slowly start to build our portfolio more. That is one thing about having the website is to tell people that you are professional. Professional is official. It's not just like uh, create a Facebook account or Instagram account on social media stuff, but having website can set you from a major to the level of professionalism. When it comes to like website design or development it's kind of like scare me out at first we don't have the time to learn the coding and you don't necessarily need that with squarespace mm. it's just drag and drop this video is actually sponsored by squarespace and it allows us to build a website while having zero knowledge on building a website one cool thing about squarespace is that there is a template for everything and you can just look through all those examples and then apply it to be on yourself you can do whatever you want no matter what website you're looking for mm. you can build it on squarespace so if you're thinking of having your own website to build your own brand presence for any purpose head to squarespace.com for a free trial and then when you're ready to launch one you can head to squarespace.com slash divert living to get 10% discount on your first domain or website so the positive side of it Jimmy has a chance to get back to his hobby yeah, which is to ride racing, again. yeah riding motocross and get a chance to tackle the project with his dad which is like every year you do that with your dad right yeah. so it's good that Jimmy get to have time to spend with family That's why it's nice to live in the countryside because you can just go out back and enjoy, you know, some fresh air. The woods. The woods. <laughs> so it's something that we like doing is trying to stay as sustainable as possible on this property. We're gonna try and do solar power for some of the houses and the buildings and then our own gardens and stuff. So the more sustainable, the better. And each year we do a huge garden. So this is actually the small version. This coming year it will be 
about three to four times the size of this. Here, give me. So right now it's kind of cold, so you can't really see any cops growing here. But one thing that still grow is green onion. See, it's fresh. So if you don't know this, green onion actually doesn't have to be replanted, so it continuously grows. You can't pull it because it's gonna break. So you have to actually have the shovel. Shovel. More green. It's better for the environment. Better for you. Saves you money. I mean, it's an investment and time value investment, but it's definitely worth it if you can, you know, save yourself some money and stay as fresh and organic as possible. That way, you know what's in your fruits. You're not used, you know, like some of the places they use, like. Roundup to kill the green beans to get them off the ground. Our green beans here, you don't even have to wash them. You just pick them off the, pick them off the plant, and then you can eat them right away. Yeah, because you don't have to worry about yeah, pesticides. There's no chemicals. There's no pesticides. There's no nothing in our food. It's all fresh. Mm -hmm. That smells good. You smell a ham? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Just leave it in there until the beans are done. Five more minutes. All right, hang on. Potato soft, you gotta put them on a plate, bro. No. Oh, TikTok, TikTok. I can't. Just have fun with nuts. It's clock. Oh my god, it's a clock. Why? You're a genius. You're a genius. TikTok. They done? Yeah. Oh, it ain't locked. No, it's not. It's okay, they're just months. It's not real. The baked potato all done. All done, the sweet potato. <laughs> Everybody says that Jimmy was raised on a silver spoon. I'm yes. <laughs> Bone meal. Bone marrow. Marrow. That's a really good part. Yeah, it is. It's good ham, ain't it? Be grateful for the ham. <laughs> be, gra be grateful for the food that's on your plate. Thank you. Big ass potato, dude. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, it's hot. Where's my beer? I see some fat. Good job on green beans. Yeah.